Hello everyone, so today I'm going to be making a French nail using this new tool that just came in today. For those of you guys who struggle doing Frenchies, this is a great alternative. Like for myself, I struggle to do my opposite hand, so I'm really looking forward to this. And even if you already know how to do it, girl, make your life easier, you know, because those French, French tip is not easy at all well at least not for me so to me I, when i saw this i was like i need to get it so pretty much what i'm doing right now is just making the tip a little slimmer so it looks a little bit more um square you know so i'm just gonna cut this using my little nail tip cutter and i'm gonna go for like a pretty long nail since since it's going to be a deep fringe. And I'm just going to go ahead and file this a little bit slimmer. And I'm using the square 80 by 100 file. And so I'm just going to file straight on both sides. Just to kind of give it the shape that I want a little bit better before I put the acrylic. Because it's so much easier to file a tip a plastic tip versus an acrylic nail because that's already a lot thicker. So I always like to turn the finger sideways so that I could look at it. And my finger does have a little bit of a wide nail bed. So she's going to have a thicker square nail. So let's see. I'm just going to file a little bit more. All right. So that's, that should be enough for now. I don't want to make it super perfect or anything like that because this is just tutorial for the cutter. I'm going to go in with my number 71 acrylic because that's the one that I have on my table right now. So I'm going to go ahead and open this. And I'm going to be using my Zile Unicorn number 12. I'm just going to dip that into the monomer. And clean it make sure well not clean it but flatten it make sure that there's no bubbles in the little hairs it doesn't create bubbles is what I mean all right honey so because I am going to need to apply a large bead I'm gonna be using my number 12 um, because it does grab a lot more product so this number, this number 71 is more like a, I don't know, peachy-ish looking. So I'm going to go ahead and wait a couple seconds and then just place it on the nail. So I'm just placing it towards where the tip and the nail bed would have met. And then after, I'm going to apply it around the cuticle. So depending on your acrylic, if it dries fast or slow... This is what I would do. This acrylic does not dry super fast. So it does give you enough time to like play with it. So I'm just going to leave it up to here. It doesn't have to be like super perfect or because I'm going to go ahead and cut it. So meanwhile that that starts to set a little bit because it does need to be a little bit dry before you make the little cut. If not, you're going to make a little hot mess. So make sure that it's losing the shine the acrylic is already turning a little bit matte before you decide to cut from experience when i have used like a blade or stuff like that um i notice that it's best to cut when it's already drying and there's a little bit of glitter up in here because i was using glitter but don't mind that that's not part of the tutorial so now I'm just waiting for it to start losing the little shine. It's still a little glossy, so I can't really see it drying up yet. And so right here, before it dries, you want to kind of measure um, which little Frenchie would cut. And you won't, like, cut too much, you know? So this one's obviously too big. I think I'm going to end up going with this one because the this next one is a little too small. So I feel like if I were to kind of try to go in there, I'll get into the top part of my nail. So I'm going to go ahead and give it a try. It is looking a little bit drier now, so 
I'm going to dip it into my powder just to kind of, I don't know, I just feel like that will help it slide. And then depending on how long you want it is how deep you would cut. So if I want it this long, then I'll go ahead and cut. But I don't want such an exaggerated one, so I'm just going to go right here. And then, hold on, hold on, client, can you move your finger a little? And then I'm just going to use this and take off the excess. So this little tool is supposed to make our little life easier. It wasn't fully, fully dry, so I feel like if I would have waited a little bit more, the acrylic would have come off. A little bit easier but if it dries too much then you struggle to take it off one thing that I do want to mention is to make sure that the acrylic is completely off from your tool so that every time that you do go in and use it you can have a nice a nice crisp little Frenchie so this is what I have so far and I was holding it a little sideways on this a little chica but girl it's okay. I'm going to be using one of my new glow acrylics. This is number three. And it's like a bright pink. Like, I don't know. It's like pinky orange. You'll see when I apply it. And um, I'm going to apply that to the tip just so that you can see what it looks like. And some people are going to be like, oh, that's that's cheating method. But girl, sometimes you got to do what you got to do to speed up the process with a client because you know that french process is like a pain in the ass so i'm just going to kind of press in that acrylic and then i mean if you do your french thick enough you can just apply like whatever and then just file it off you know but if you don't want to do that filing technique then just um apply it as neat as possible I don't really like to do that filing and stuff so I try to put it as as nice as possible and so you can see right here that is really looking cute I'm just going to add a little bit more in the side over here because I did miss it a little And then again, if you do happen to kind of go over the nude, then you can just clean it up with your brush or wait until it's fully dry and then you could just file it off. Um, and it will reveal like a nice crisp line. But I do not want to file right now. So I'm just going to clean it up. But you have options. So this is the final look. Don't forget to check out ZuleisNails.BigCartel.com for the little tool. I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Bye.